Hi, my name is Joanna Brajas. I'm with ShapeUpFridge.com and today I'm going to show you how to make healthy enchiladas. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is get our tortillas nice and warm. So I'm just going to, I have two paper towels here and spray them with a little cooking spray. So I have my tortillas, I'm just going to microwave for about one minute until they're soft. So this is going to be our enchilada sauce. It's really easy to make, only about 10 minutes. So I'm going to turn on fire. So we have a quarter cup of oil and this is going to be uh, two tablespoons of flour and a quarter cup of chili powder that I mixed up. And don't wait for the oil to get hot because then you'll burn it. So we're just gonna mix it up. And it's kinda like making a roux. Um, just kinda have to go slowly. But this is the quickest enchilada mole sauce that you're gonna make without like a real traditional mole and it still tastes really good so I encourage you to give it a try so I'm just cooking this until um, it gets kinda thick and it bubbles a little more so maybe around two minutes okay so we cooked it about two minutes and now I'm gonna add my tomato sauce here And then I'll add just a little more water. So I just filled up the can with water. And then we're going to add a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder, a quarter teaspoon of onion, quarter teaspoon of cumin, and quarter teaspoon of salt. And we're going to stir it up. See that nice red dark color there and then we're just going to bring it to a little simmer and then we're going to simmer, simmer for 10 minutes and it'll be done ready for our enchiladas. Okay so after 10 minutes simmering uh, this is our enchilada sauce and it'll be ready for the enchiladas. Okay so now we have our tortillas nice and warm pliable. Uh, first, I want to put some sauce in our pan so it doesn't stick. And this is our nice red mole sauce. And then I'm just going to take some chicken. I have shredded chicken here. I just boiled it for about 10 minutes and shredded it. You can use a rotisserie chicken if you'd like. Um, you can even put vegetables, cheese, you know, whatever you like. This is the basic. Roll them up. Nice little things like that. Okay. So this can probably fit maybe six or five. So we have uh, five really snug enchiladas there and I'm just going to put a little more sauce on top so they stay nice and moist and really flavor everything so you don't have to add flavor to the chicken. Okay so the last step we'll do is just going to put some cheese on there and uh, not too much just enough to crisp up. and. I'm going to cover this with foil and put it in the oven at 350 for about 20 minutes and then we'll take it off the foil and broil it maybe five minutes to crisp up and that's it. Okay so here are enchiladas. Uh, I put it on broil for like five minutes at the end so you get a nice crust and I like to serve two uh, to start with and then you can put more sauce there or I made some uh, potatoes and carrots I like to serve on the side 
like in the streets of Mexico, how they do it. <laughs> okay, and then um, just some lettuce on top. There, and maybe some salsa on the top there. And if you like more cheese, you can put more cheese. And that has been your enchiladas. This has been Joanna Barajas with ShapeUpFridge.com and this is your healthy enchilada recipe. Mm -hmm.